There is a fluid inside your eyeball that exerts pressure on the eyeball and helps to keep the eye in the shape of a ball that is nearly spherical shape. This fluid inside of the lens of your eye is called aqueous humor and the fluid behind the lens is called vitreous humor. The pressure exerted by this fluid is known as the intraocular pressure. The normal intraocular pressure is 10 to 21 millimeter of mercury. This pressure can increase or decrease. This pressure can decrease in cases like a ruptured eyeball, retinal detachment, and the pressure, intraocular pressure, can increase in cases of glaucoma. The measurement of intraocular pressure is recommended in all suspected cases of glaucoma. And the intraocular pressure is measured by using tonometer and the process is known as tonometry. There are two types of tonometry, one is indentation tonometry and the other is applanation tonometry. Seuss tonometer is used for indentation tonometry whereas Goldman's tonometer is used for applanation tonometry. In this video, we are going to discuss about Seuss tonometry. We will see the video of Seuss tonometer that is used for measurement of intraocular pressure. A weight of 5.5 gram is permanently fixed to the plunger of the Seuss tonometer. We can add the weight and make them 7.5 to 10 gram if needed, but normally we start it with 5.5 gram. Indentation tonometry is based on the principle that the soft eye will be indented more than a hard eye. Now let's discuss about the techniques of measurement of intraocular pressure by using Seuss tonometer while going through the video at the same time. The food plate and lower end of plunger should be sterilized with either ether, absolute alcohol or acetone. The patient is asked to lie supine. Anesthetize cornea using topical anesthetic. Here we are using xylocaine. Ask the patient to keep his vision fixed at one point. Here he is asked to fix his vision on his thumb. The examiner separates the eyelid with his left hand and gently rests the foot plate of tonometer on the center of the cornea. The reading on the scale is noted as soon as the needle becomes steady. 5.5 5.5 A conversion table is then used to derive the intraocular pressure in millimeter of mercury from the scale reading and plunger weight. False low intraocular pressure can be recorded by the CO stonometer in eyes with low scleral rigidity as seen in high myops in following intraocular surgery.